Right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction, the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, heavyweight contender, Alistair Overeem. Kind of surprised you haven't shared the octagon with this guy yet. Yes, we have seen Alistair Overeem for a really long time. We've seen the ups, we've seen the downs. From the highest of highs as a strike force heavyweight champ to the lowest of lows, he's been here and he's been around forever. But the one thing that you know when you think about Alistair Overeem is that when things get tough, he will evolve. He will get better. And recently, he has been back on the upswing in his career. So here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yes. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in... Uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. Know. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 47 wins, 19 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Alistair the Reeb And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, only a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomedov. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, we have a fighter that does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Overeem's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. 
Marshall, the taller fighter, lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Let's dig and kick. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to cut you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start. I think about strike. Real quick leg kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nurmago Medov circling to his right now. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a psychic hold. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice straight punch. So just over 20 total strikes have now found the target for Alistair Overeem. That shot blocked by Overeem, yes. Pretty good right hand. Just misses there with the left. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blast the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Time the shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. This striker has come out swinging, and he's a very aggressive guy, but you got to be careful, I would think, to not overextend yourself. Yeah, you would think you got to slow down, but not this guy. This guy knows that he can secure finishes on the feet, or he gets taken down to his back. But ideally for him, he wants to be knocking guys out. You gotta check these low leg kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. All right, 60 seconds now to go in round one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Swing and a big miss by Nermago Meadow. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful punch. Very nice leg kick there by Nermago Meadow. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Round two straight ahead. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands off. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, nice punch there by Overeem. Yes. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. 85 total strikes have now landed for Alistair Over. Well, a lot of connections, obviously, DC, and landing with 54% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nice punch here. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection. It's blocked. Breathe. I mean, he's cutting it down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Ooh, blocks the shot. Ooh, what a punch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Beautiful combination there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. Overeem's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the ream. Huge block there. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. These guys are going at it. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nurmagomedov. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from him. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. 20 seconds to go. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. And that's the end of round number two.
Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round. A lot of high-level leg kicking going on there, champ. And he did a great job of hiding it. He wasn't giving any sign that he was going to throw those leg kicks. That's why you didn't see his opponent check any of the kicks, and it won't take many more for him to really damage the mobility of the other combatant. Able to check that kick as well. The Reed gets caught with that punch. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Another leg kick land. That strike blocked by Nurmagomedov. You don't know when that leg kick comes. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch land. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Overland. Yes. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. And he continues to work the body here. 169 total strikes have now found the target for Alistair Overland. Well, more often than not, DC, when the strike has been thrown, it has found the home. 52% the accuracy rate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big punch lands through the middle. Keep that right hand up. Just missed with the left there. He lands flush with that right hand. Three minutes to go in round three. Rips the body there for good measure. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landed. Over one. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got... Whoa! Back to the feet. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, you saw us referencing the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by over. Yes. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. 90 seconds remain in the round. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Overing. Such a fast leg kick. Gets up again here, but hurt. Back and forth we go here. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Overeem's lower jaw is extremely slow. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, and now snap the head back. The referee has seen enough. 
Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alistair. Could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.